Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Big D. Today I have a, another product review for you guys. This is going to be the Cast King 15 Rod and Combo Rack System, Vertical Rack System, that these guys are producing and they're selling and you can get it on Amazon. I'll have the link down below if you want to check this out. Uh, if you're anything like me, when it comes to your fishing gear, I have tons of fishing poles, rods and reels, combos, fishing nets, tackle, gear, hats, you name it. Over the years, I've collected a lot of stuff, especially since I've been YouTubing back and forth on this channel with you guys. I've had so much fun doing it. But over the time, I've collected a ton of stuff and my wife's really starting to hound me into getting it all organized, neat, and in place to where I can use it like I should be. So that's what, kind of what I've been working on these last few weeks. I've been putting together a fishing office. That way I can do my videos in peace and be able to produce stuff just for you guys. <clears throat> but a part of that system, I realized that I had way too many fishing rods and fishing reels. So I ended up going online and I got to looking and researching. And one item that come up quite often in my searches was the Cast King rack system. This thing's really awesome and neat and it's not expensive at all. I think I gave 30 bucks for this two pack set. That way I should be able to hold 15 to 30 rods. This is a wall mount system. You will be drilling into your wall. Um, let me just go over some of the information on the back here. First of all, it states that you will use screws that are provided to mount to your wall system. You will be mounting holes 16 inches on center, which is a US, most US home construction guidelines that require that. So you shouldn't run into any issues there. And then it's lightweight, durable. It is made of ABS materials. This is co-injected TPR, which is over a molded material that grabs and holds your rods and combos. This will keep them stored in a vertical upright position. Also, they boast that they have a narrow but wide V grooves that hold up to inch and a half, no, excuse me, one half an inch diameter rods. So if you got even your pretty large rods, such as your catfishing rods and stuff, they should still be able to meet this requirement that they put in here. And I can't wait to try it out, guys. But it also states that the rods and combos can be stored at various heights to allow up to 15 rods or combos to be stored in less than 17.25 inches of the room. That is a very, very, very compact position. I can't wait to see how this works. I'm hoping that the issues that you mainly see with any of the other products on the market is that all of the rods are pretty much contained in the same height and position. So when you get down to the base, all your reels tend to smack each other and get tangled up. That's an issue that I've seen. This claims that it addresses that to where you can adjust the heights so that you're not gonna have those issues. That's one of the main reasons I picked this and it had over a thousand sales and reviews, the majority of which all were over four star in a five star system. So let's dig in and see what it looks like guys. Once again, like I stated, you'll be able to find these on the Amazon marketplace. I have a link down below if you want to help the channel out. You can click that link and purchase these. It'll take you directly to the item and you'll be able to see exactly what I paid for. All right, so first up, you've got your hardware. Looks like four standard, they look to be stainless screws. And then you've got some wall anchors here that will help you with the weight. And then of course, we've got our two pack system here. I ended up buying the two pack because I have so many rods and reels. <clears throat> Let me open this up for you guys. All right. Check that out, guys. This is what it's gonna look like. It's got the name brand on there. This feels like a high quality plastic. It's very, very durable. I don't have a whole lot of bend in it. it lets me know that it's gonna be tough and strong. Check out that molded V shapes. You see those? 
that's what's going to hold on to your rod and keep it in a safe position so you can store your poles in a vertical position. It's really neat and the material is a little bit flexible it feels like. Not a whole lot so it's, it's pretty sturdy. But I think that that's going to work out very well. Like I said about the two pack and it come with the hardware and then you've got a little instruction booklet here that will explain how to measure up and do what you need for the installation. That's what we'll be doing next, guys. I'm gonna go get me a screwdriver or a drill, and I'm gonna get me a little level so that we can make sure that these are nice and level when we place them on the walls, and I'm gonna get all that stuff set up. So stay tuned. All right, guys, let me show you the mess that I'm dealing with and show you why I bought these rack systems because I am swimming in fishing gear. As you can see, I've got a ton of fishing poles in every corner. I've got that beautiful Bass Pro rack that I bought, but it just wasn't enough. So that's why I have this over here. I have to get some more light. A little bit hard to see in here. This is the office I'm working on. But there you have it. This little corner here, I'm gonna make a rod rack storage corner. I took a torpedo level and I've got that leveled out and it's just three screws. This is into paneling, so I had to find the studs and mark it out just right. But if you were to do it on a standard wall, you will use the drywall anchors. So pretty simple process. Level it out, see where you want it. Mark the holes pre-drill and then run the screws. It's that simple, guys. All right, guys, we've got both mounted. It took me about 20 minutes because I wanted to be real precise and measure out so that they both pretty much lined up equally the same. And this is the finished product. You'll just take your fishing poles like so. You can do them at different heights, as you can see here. That way, they're not going to conflict with each other at the bottom there. See how i got different hanging heights? And it's going to end up working out well, guys. Check it out. It's very handy. It's going to help me to cover all my bases and be allowed to or that much more rods. Uh, like I said, the issue with the standard types, the bases are so close together, your reels kind of bunch up, get tangled up. But with this system, you can adjust the heights and you won't have that problem. Personally, it took me about, like I said, 20 minutes to install. Installation's a breeze. You just need a hammer, drill bit, the provided hardware, a level. Elbow grease. It did take two people, one person to hold it while the other one placed the markers and the screws. But you might be able to do it better than me with one person. But overall, my satisfaction is pretty high. Uh, hopefully, we'll revisit this another day, maybe a year later, and see how well it's still holding up. But I would still give this right now a five star rating, like the rest of the people that I saw, because it looks like to be a very good product. Remember guys, if you want to purchase this item, you can get it through the link below in my description. It really helps my channel out. I am a paid affiliate, and I should notify you that, but it really helps the channel grow. And if it, you found the video interesting or helpful, be sure to hit the like button so that the YouTube algorithm will spread the video out quicker. Also, if you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe. I put out a lot of videos like this and many other items that I like to review, mainly just fishing gear or fishing orientated. And that's it guys, y'all have a good one.